Let me test something real quick. You recognize any of these? Coming soon to own on video and DVD. If you said yes to any of them, then you're like me and this video goes out to you. Explanations in the title, here are a few memorable games for people at the top of the hill. In honor of today being a totally normal day with no special meaning, here are five nostalgic games for middle-aged gamers. Five. Let's start with a softball. Remember playing games in school with your calculator? The TI-84 Plus was like the Ferrari for in-school gaming. The little block pushing game that was built in was my favorite, but you could also load up a ton of other games, including ports, remakes, and demakes. And of course, it plays Doom. The new TI brand calculators got color displays and backlight, and it looks crazy, but I am for real nostalgic about the old black and white displays. Kids today just honestly don't know the struggle we had to go through for a little bit of entertainment between math and science class. Speaking of struggles, have you done your stretches today? Make sure you do your stretches, because that's not a thing you do till you feel better now, it's just something you have to do. Four. While we're on the topic of school, if you remember trying to skirt around your school firewall to play flash games on sites like AddictingGames.com, please sit up straight, your back ain't what it used to be. Three. Tiger games, baby. I love these things. They were horrible, but I would play them for like an hour each. I wish I still had all of mine from when I was a kid. They came in all different styles, and there were games that were like watches, and I even liked the off-brand ones, like the ones inside of kids' meals with licenses like Sonic the Hedgehog. Nowadays, anyone could just play a quality game on their phone or tablet. These Tiger games are like a snapshot to the past. A Kodak moment, if you will. And you should probably take one of those Kodak moments right now to have a meal that isn't just the coffee or energy drink you had this morning. Two. Damn, I know I felt all our knees pop at the mere mention of this one just now. Not only were Nokia phones made of the most indestructible material in the universe called Nokia, they also had a ton of great games on them. We all know Snake, maybe even Snake 2. I've mentioned before on this channel that I love Snake 2. But here's a blast from the past, a shmup you probably played but don't remember the name of. Space Impact 1 and 2. Yeah, I know you remember this R-type looking ass game. And if you're on the younger, or more technically advanced side of middle-aged, the color screen Nokia phones had bounce and bounce tails. Bonus, if you find one of your old Nokia phones laying around, not only is it in the exact same condition as when you lost it, but you can play these games while taking your daily multivitamins. I know, them old bones just moving slower and slower nowadays. I mean, come on. You knew the GOAT would be here. The built-in Windows XP games were truly the games of a generation. Minesweeper. I was never really good at this one, but I remember loving putting the grid to max size and then only having like two mines, and then it would try to win with like one click and be like, oh, I'm so good at this game. Solitaire, I bet at least 50% of the people watching this video only know how to play Solitaire because they played it on Windows XP, and that is a conservative estimate. And you know I gotta talk about when you win, how the cards cascade all out like brrrr. But let's stop messing around with all these little kid games. Y'all know it, I know it, everybody watching this video knows it. Space Cadet Pinball was the goat of goats. Space Cadet Pinball's where we separated the kids from the adults, where heroes became icons, where icons became legends, and where legends transcended the physical plane to become gods. And remember to drink some water today, because you definitely haven't had enough. Subscribe for more content, bye.